again, आप सबका स्वागत है We all are meeting the toppers from Un Academy right here, and with us today we have the topper of Cat. अनुष्का No, no such channels where we could get free content and my journey with an academy and my journey with cat began from youtube itself okay. so i used to follow youtube channel of an academy from mm-hmm. where i got introduced to uh, teachers mm-hmm. and i liked the way they taught and mm-hmm. then i went ahead taking an academy subscription and somehow that was the game changer for me as because it helped me to crack my cat and get into my dream college and you think this is helping all the other aspirants as well yeah sure i think so because uh, even if uh, someone does not have that kind of a capital money to invest uh, mm-hmm. into if uh, you want to pursue some dream the free contents that are available on youtube surely they are very high quality contents and mm-hmm. uh, looking at the competition that uh, that is there on youtube they are actually making very good contents that i till now follow Uh, in my daily life, as much as I like uh, like to browse through the channels, and I think that that it's truly helping and revolutionizing the education industry. That was actually the perfect. I mean, connecting to the same question, uh, the next question what I would like to ask, and I'm sure all of them would love to know is how do you think students should uh, prepare for CAT using the Unacademy CAT channel? Yeah. So uh, basically, an academy has uh, the free content and they have a substitution based content. Okay. So initially, I started my preparation uh, with the free content mm-hmm. and then I moved on to the substitution based content. And there you can do both the thing. Either you can do the live uh, connect with the uh, with the teachers who are available and those are teaching over there, and or you can uh, you can stream it or see the recorded videos. So what I used to do, I used to go through the recorded videos because I think that that helped me to grasp the thing a little faster, and uh, that helped me a lot. And uh, 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 an aspirant can surely uh, think about uh, taking a free subscription, or they want to take a subscription based model, and they can actually divide their time accordingly, and they can look forward to an academy. So like you said, um, you. You took out time to record it version or everything out there. Like, how uh, was your entire cat preparation experience? And uh, what's that one message you would like to give to all the aspirants out there? Yeah. So, cat is more about a mind game than a quantitative based uh, exam. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are a lot of ups and downs throughout the journey, and as you know, that cat can be divided into three stages. One is that you have to clear the exam. Followed by you have a GD process, and then you have the interview, and then only you get the selection to a college. So once you are done with the exam, it's not that uh, if you are getting a very good percentage, you have a guarantee seat in any of the good colleges. You have to clear other two stages as well with the very good marks. So you have to keep yourself calm. You can't get very excited about getting a very good percentage or any such thing. And patience is the key to crack cap. And to get into a good college, patience is the biggest key yeah. out there. So you just have to hold your nerve, stay right there, keep doing your best, and rest. Everything is going to fall in place. Okay. Um, consider me as a aspirant. Like, I mean, I'm nowhere even connected to CAT or anything out there. But consider me as an aspirant. What is that one particular thing that I should focus on as an aspirant? Okay. So, uh, so if you are an aspirant. Then firstly, you have to analyze at which phase of preparation you are right now. Maybe you can start with a mock test and uh, get to understand that what is your uh, strong area and what is your weak area, mm-hmm. and uh, work accordingly. Divide your time accordingly. Like uh, in my case, I had my strong area points, and uh, my DRC was on the weaker side, and LRDI was in the medium. So I divided my time accordingly, and uh, division of time is very important. Uh, because uh, in that way you know that uh, you are giving particular time to your weaker areas to strengthen it up, and that is helpful. And one more thing, cat keeps uh, uh, keeps itself updating day by day. 
uh, like previous year question and the this year question will never be similar. So don't only follow the previous year question. Rather, uh, keep a very challenging attitude towards it and keep updating yourself with the uh, new kind of syllabus that can come from. Oh, lovely. So just say you said you have to uh, divide your time and everything out there. Which subject was strong tha and how should an aspirant or uh, he or she should prepare for their weakness? Yeah, sure. So uh, for me, as I said that uh, my points was the uh, stronger area and uh, VRG was the weaker part. So I can give the answer for uh, those people who had the VRG as the weaker area because uh, in VRG what happens, we are given a uh, big comprehen uh, comprehension passages mm -hmm. uh, which we have to comprehend. Mm -hmm. So basically we have to have a reading uh, speed as well as comprehending speed. So we have okay. to, uh, at a very early stage, we have to have the habit of reading. Like I was not an avid reader in the first year. Mm -hmm. But when I started my cat preparation, I understood that I have to read more and more. So I started with the story books followed by the newspapers. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that was the key to uh, cracking VRC because it's more about comprehending. Mm -hmm. And even if you go to the past paper, it does not help much in the VRC section. So uh, reading is must for the VRC section. Perfect. Well, we all have gathered here today, and I'm sure you've been invited to be a part of this big thing which is going to happen. But uh, an academy one, many new channels, and new education, new knowledge. What are you expecting out of this? Honestly, I don't have any clue about calling it <laughs> one. Okay. Mm, but uh, looking at the grandeur of the event, I am expecting something very, uh, very uh, grand level thing. Mm -hmm. um, so there's, there's something which is going to be revealed today. There's yeah. something, there's going to be a very big surprise. Yeah. Well, honestly speaking, I have no idea about what's going to happen as well. So we all are on that same bubble to know what is going to happen. Uh, let's wait for the rest of the evening to understand what that is. But before I let you go, uh, I would like to ask you this question. You studied with the Young Academy and uh, there are a lot of educators and there are a lot of other subjects out there. Who was your favorite educator and why? Okay, so uh, I'm interested question because uh, as my journey started with an academy, mm -hmm. and it was with Ravi Prakash Sir's video okay. uh, on YouTube, and uh, then only I took my uh, an academy subscription, and mm -hmm. he has been uh, throughout. He has been a support system for me throughout the process from the beginning day I started my time preparation to the end day of my interview, and the process still uh, still runs on, and we are still in connect. And I think that he is a great motivator mm -hmm. uh, because. Uh, during the mocks, you have a lot of ups and downs that you have to face. Like uh, certain times that your percentile drops below 30% percentile and sometimes you get a very high percentile. Okay. But you have to keep your nerves very calm over there. Mm -hmm. So he helped me to keep my nerves calm and he always motivated me. And somehow uh, he was uh, able to give time to each and every student who was there and give attention to them which is really very difficult to achieve in an online setup. So that's so, why he's your favorite. Yeah. Okay, uh, before I let you go, the last question. If I do not understand a particular topic, what should be my approach to perfect it out? Uh, if you don't understand a particular topic, then perseverance is the most important thing. You have to keep the patience. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't lose uh, your patience because you are not able to solve the topic things. So you have to keep trying and trying and if uh, you find that uh, this thing is not working for me, you can uh, look, uh, look forward to, uh, for another approach. Because CAT is more of an approach mm -hmm. uh, than solving things in a singular way. Uh, so basically the approach has to be right, yeah. you look forward in the right direction and take it forward. With that direction, all I'm going to say is thank you so much for joining us and doing this with us. We have the CAT topper with us, Anushka Biswas. And, uh, we will definitely come back to you with more toppers, more different stories because this is One Academy by An Academy.